Five days earlier, I decided to play Beast of Bermuda. So I logged into the official servers, a place where just about anything goes. I'm getting eaten. During my first attempt at survival, I never even made it out of the shell. Nothing but natural selection. A meal that will provide for a pair of mega raptors. And after being eaten once and my egg already, it was time to reevaluate which dinosaur exactly would I play. I decided it'd been a long time since I'd played a sauropod. So when I found myself a nice, fresh, abandoned egg, it would now be time to embark on a new chapter into the unknown. All right, I've got to find. I quickly scattered for the jungle, getting off of the coastline. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. As cool as this new mud was. Oh, I like that. It was most definitely not safe to drink from. That was cool. All right, now. Water, food. I ate some mushrooms off the ground and it gave me some really bad food poisoning. I had to treat my sickness with some nearby herbs and balance out my diet of salt. Yeah, I need water, I need water. Is that bananas on that? Before I got to point six growth, I ended up changing my skin into a more camouflage friendly. I think I might even stay here for a bit. This seems like a good spot to... I decided to take some rest and sit here and admire the view. Because with a body of fresh water not so far away, I could take some time to grow. However, in the same place, but in a different time frame, a V-Hen Venator would be fighting for its own right to survive. See, when I passed this cliff on my Apatosaurus, I said to myself that would be the perfect spot to grow. Something small in body weight and with agility. If you guys end up enjoying the story, please don't forget to drop a like on the video. It helps with the algorithm and it encourages me to do better on the next one. Thank you very much. Like a rock climber who didn't want to slip and fall to his death, I played it safe, jamming myself into the cracks of this cliff. The Mega Raptors slowly repositioned themselves to recover slowly from the damage that had already been dished out. Eventually, one of them built up the courage. He probably figured I was not big enough to do anything serious. He finally made up his mind and leaped into action. He'd taken too much damage and when he impacted the ground, he died. But there were still more pack members left. At 75% health and bleeding, with two Mega Raptors above me, this fight was far from over. Everything started to look good as I was able to hold my ground. And unfortunately, it's right then that my game had crashed. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And by the time I finally reconnected and logged back in, my dinosaur was dead. However, I would resurrect it at a later date, but for now, my Apatosaurus had just reached point seven. Ladies and gentlemen, the build is slowly coming together like a piece of art. I need water and I kinda don't wanna go that way now. Not that I'm hearing other herds, cause I trust herbivores less on the official servers and piece of promoter than I do carnivores. At least I know carnivores are got the intent to kill in you regardless but the one thing I do like about the Bob servers though the official ones there is no mixed packing allowed. I made my way up the coastline and inland to find some fresh water to drink. This is not a bad water hole here either it's pretty cool don't know how safe it is I can hear a lot of sounds but might hang out here for a bit maybe. Coral sanctuary six of 14 biomes visited. Here we go. On some ancient human structure made of brick and stone, covered in moss. It's there that I was enjoying some time to myself growing. But unfortunately a heavy storm was brewing up and it said to the coastlines, no. I don't want to be caught out there if a storm does come in, so I still seem to be holding my comfort pretty well at 43. It's just flooding a lot. The storms and floods and beast of Bermuda are not to be underestimated, for these can cause mass level extinction events. Actually I need to get over there, that's high ground over there. That's where I need to be. Dum da da dum dum. The world's going under. And in the oceans covering the island, giant monsters lurk, waiting to drag you down into the depths. 
storm looks like it's sort of holding off down there. Here we go, got the perfect view of the storm from here. Looks like it's settling down anyway. Might as well chill here. Why not? Why not? Back on my Vihenvenator, I just reached adult once again, and that's when I spotted something in the thick scrubs. But not 100% sure what it was, I moved in to investigate. I think there's a Mega Raptor in there. Not sure though. You in here, buddy? Oh, Megalo. Not a Mega Raptor. Too cool. Don't want to go cannibal. I'm hungry enough. Nah, don't do it. I'm not doing it. I decided to move forward, leaving him alone, and that's when I heard the sound of a Pachycephalosaurus. Injured, but not badly. However, I needed to find cover ASAP. I healed the injury off, only to never see them again. And after I filled up on fresh water, I seen an old friend from just around the corner. He gave me some fresh player gore. After he gave me a generous gift, we parted ways. Meanwhile, in another time and place, my sauropod was getting ready to wake up and go and have a drink. Yep, nice. That's good water. I like how you flick mud on. Look, look how muddy he gets now after walking on that track. That's pretty cool. Got to give it to Beast of Bermuda though. They never did have real lag problems or any real bugs. Like, they're a clean game. Quite well optimised too now. Like, now that I was gaining more body weight, it was becoming more safe for me to traverse the map. God damn, was that a journey on the slower Patasaurus. And here we go, we've got another little pond out here. I knew that was gonna happen. I made my way up the hill and further into the desert, but that's when I picked up the scent trail of multiple combat parrots. Well, they're not KOS, and so that's pretty cool of them. They must be thirsty. They might come back though for me, so... I'm actually careful. I'm still growing, I'm still growing. I discovered a nice little pond, and for now, it would become my home. Actually, this rock is a perfect growing spot. Look at this. I'm going to spend some time on this rock, I think. Grow. As my Apatosaurus prepared itself for rest, a troop was preparing to land on the bridge, completely unaware to the immediate danger. I'm just struggling to fly a bit. It was probably the one moment he decided to step away from his keyboard, and ultimately it would cost him his life. And with such a good sized player gore, I could sit back, relax and grow. Meanwhile, my Apatosaurus in another time and place has been sitting on that rock for quite some time. I'm getting big, but only from sitting around. Nothing's even come to the desert, or this part of it anyway. I continued growing on my rock throughout the night, only coming down to drink water. So I'm gonna have to move on. But eventually, the small pond had lost its quality. I made my way back down to the coast to eat salt and balance my diet. I do like, like, <laughs> I always did like in Beast of Bermuda how, like, the herbivores actually just ate all the plant life. And there's a fat plant over there, so that'll save me eating all these trees. You've reached a growth of 1.32 and your growth has been automatically paused. Beyond this point, you will be unable to pause your growth. Difficulty will increase until you either die or decide to revert your growth to 1. to 1.0. At this point, your score will be added to the service leaderboard. Compete to have the largest growth and become a legend. Let's get this fat plant and continue on with the journey. That is one big Trinodon, look at that. Holy crap, because I'm on a Patasaurus at 1.3. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a lot of big players. My older Apatosaurus was now well and truly on the way to becoming a giant. While living the life of a huge herbivore, flatlining all the vegetation in front of me, my carnivore on the other end of the spectrum was playing a dangerous game at a huge growth of 1.6. With three points invested in the ability of identification, I'm able to keep track of the stats of these koars. Mm. Let's 
feel them out slowly over time. See how they react to my moves. He's 1.5 to 8. He's a big boy. There we go, he's on 78% health. He's hurting. I might be able to slowly work this one down. It's pretty big though, 1.5. I'm gonna separate them a bit more. a little bit more. He's the one that's hurt. If I was going to have any chances of bringing one down, I'd need to separate them. I decided the rocks would be the best chance to do this, because every second apart from each other would be an opportunity where I could land a bite. My tail is an extension to my body and is extremely long, so if I approach the jumps on the wrong angle, it can easily be hit. Touching each other a bit. I was at 84 already. Nice. Separate them a bit. Try to get them hitting each other right there. Beautiful, they hit each other. One's a 57. There we go. 53. I need some stamina. Ninety three and sixty eight. We're working them, we're working them. Forty three. Can't heal up because I got a bleed on him. I do need to get behind him. Separate them up a bit more. Damn it, that hit me. I didn't want that to hit, but it did. That one's a 34. I just need to get him. He's at 100. That's the one behind him. I'm gonna go into this rock for a second and see if I can separate them some more again. That one there. One of the Kowars was wounded badly and at now 20% HP. But trading any more hits was simply not an option. I haven't got enough power to see his. See what he's at.
I'll be the first one to admit when someone outplays me. During the mix of the chaos, I thought that this Cole had actually managed to log out. Wait, where you go? But it turns out that he was just a smart player and used nothing but a small pillar to blindside me. Oh, he just disappeared. How's that? Wait, what? But right about now, he's sitting behind that small pillar like an absolute champ. No doubt, guys. Or crashed. One or the other. Either way, he's not here right now. Disappointed with my loss, I decided to back out. Unable to move because I needed to heal the bleed off, recover some health and regain my comfort. Because I was so bloodthirsty and pushing that fight so hard and being in it for so long, I was now on the edge of starvation. I tried my best to find some gore. I ran until my feet couldn't carry me no more and eventually I killed over and died. Meanwhile, my Apatosaurus was out and about exploring the world. This time when get highlighted. But a pack of Acrocantosaurus had tracked down my mighty sauropod. <laughs> Look at this one running. Oh, there's more. Actually careful. This one's in trouble. I'll slowly get him. Maybe. Can't quite catch him. He's in trouble. I gotta save some stamina. I turned around to keep my eyes on the rest of the pack. But the injured acro that was originally in front of me had a good camouflage and mixed with the dark, I completely lost him for a moment. Stomp him. Where did he go? I can't even see where he went because it's dark. I'm blind. Oh, there he is over there. Not a problem. Slowly make my way for him. Just gotta get some stamina. The acros were starting to stack up an extreme amount of damage. It was time to reconsider my position. I used what terrain I had to my advantage. These rocks on the edge of the waterline just might be enough to hold my ground. Yeah, back up, boys. <laughs> they work together like a group of dancers, in sync with their attacks and intimidating roar. <laughs> These were no small acros, and most likely had great friendship, healing up fast, rapidly coming in, attack after attack. Oh yeah, this is getting difficult.
They're healing up quick compared to me. <laughs> me personally, I enjoy ending the story with a bang. And to the acros that finally bring me down, you know the old saying? Some of the best memories are made around the dinner table. GG's, well played. And just like that, my giant Apatosaurus would meet its maker. But the end of one chapter is just the beginning of another. I hope you, my friends, enjoyed the story. And this is your boy, our time, at the end of another epic tale. Signing out.